welcome to The Soar Show. I'm Kathleen. I'm Carrie. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Sheila. And we're talking about fear today. We've yes. already been sitting here chit-chatting about this. What a great topic. I'm it's afraid a great my coffee is already... Everybody has fear. Everybody, everybody has everybody. fear. You cannot escape it, right? right? So we're going to talk about that today. But first, we're going to do our coffee mugs, because we always do that. What do you got, Rebecca? I'm a fan. I got my girl Marilyn Monroe, and my favorite quote from her is, I don't care about money. I just want to be wonderful, which goes with one of my favorite movies, Christmas um, movies. It's a wonderful life, so I want to strive to be a wonderful friend. Yeah. Yes, um, a wonderful wife, wonderful mom, wonderful real, real estate agent. With some cash. With some cash. With some cash. <laughs> yeah. It but it's about people. Money's yes. not everything, but it sure it helps. It helps. <laughs> But relationships. Relationships yeah. the best. What do you got, Sheila? Relationships. Mine says bad to the bone. And mine, it, uh, mine is, to me, significant of those days when I wake up with no fear. And I just feel like I can conquer anything. And I'm bad to the bone. I've got this, no matter what comes my way. Yeah, and you got to remind yourself. Of yeah. That's the point exactly. of these coffee mugs, reminding yeah. yourself every morning. I've got a great little coffee mug called The Source Show. You sure do. You might have heard of it. Mm -hmm. uh, this was made by one of the girls in my neighborhood, Kayla Ray, who has her own little home-based business. We love those. So, yes. Cottage we all need one of those, by the way. Yeah, we so do. We need to get her to make some. Yeah. And if you've got a coffee mug thing that you want on one, maybe she can make. Oh, she yeah. It doesn't have to say yeah. a sore show, even right. though I think everybody should have a sore show coffee cup mug. <laughs> yeah. My cup says, don't be good, be great. And how do we measure great? My thoughts on this are this. If I can come home at the end of the day, and I know I kicked butt, like I blew my own damn mind, one of those kind of days, <laughs> then it was that's, great. That's I don't day. care how someone else measures it. Was yeah. I great? Do I get to go home and go, boy, I did it today, right? Yeah. That's it how was I a good day. day. Don't be good, be great. And if you're always shooting for great, you're going to get up there somewhere, right? Like yeah. what they say about shoot. the moon and the stars. Yeah. Shoot right. for the moon. And yeah. Shoot for the stars and aim for the moon. No, what is it? If you shoot for the moon, you'll land on the stars or land among the stars. Y'all seem to say what that really supposed to say. Because we don't know, obviously. <laughs> but it's I like, early. It's I early. like the point that Carrie said, though, it's different for yeah. everybody. Only you measure whether or not you've had a great yeah. day. That's right. Only you measure whether or not you grabbed that day. Mm -hmm. Only you measure whether or not you're soaring the day. It, it, right. And if you've had a wonderful day or a wonderful life, you right. measure that. Not what someone else determines you've had a great day or not. Yes. 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 That's, a, that's a really mm -hmm. good point. Exactly. Yeah. That's, my, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Go home and know that you had a great day. You're not looking to please anybody but yourself. We're looking yes, to conquer so we're our right. fears. That's right. So we're going back to our fears. Before we do our fears, real quick, yes. we're, um, our shout out today is for us, the Soar Show. Yes. So Yay. we're giving Check away a shirt. A Soar shirt. It's so That's comfortable. Awesome. Y'all, I'm telling you, you can't tell, but it feels soft. Better. It's so soft. It is. So we have our very own Soar Show to give away today. And so um, how are we going to give this away? What question? We want you to come back on the Facebook page and answer or, or give this, what, a password or something? Yeah, answer a question. Answer a and, question. Uh, we'll tell you the question in a little while, but you have to listen closely because the answer will be found within the show. There you go. So pay That's close it. attention. Okay, I just hid myself from the camera while I folded it back, but I won't soar to show while we're talking about that. fear. There we go. And we love the name soar because mm -hmm. I think every day we're remembering that, we're, that we soar, that we're trying to in anything in your life. Soar as a wife, soar as a business person, soar as a parent, mm -hmm. and, soar and as know, a friend. That's right. And what that really means is just be the best you you can possibly be. Yeah. Soar in your own right. Do what you love and go for it. But how many times, this is unplanned, does fear keep you from doing that? Here we go. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Here we go. Welcome you know, to our topic of the day. Let's be honest. We've most, been there. Most times, yeah, most people are stopped dead in their tracks because of fear. Mm -hmm. I won't try that because what if I don't do it? What will people say? What will they think? Let me start this with a great an acronym for fear. False evidence appearing real. I've seen that before, and that's perfect. Isn't that perfect? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is perfect. Right. False evidence. Evidence appearing real. Mm -hmm. You get anxiety about yeah. things that you're going to do, and you're anxious because you're fearful of something that might not even be there. Mm -hmm. That's false evidence, you know, and it appears real to you, so absolutely. you get scared. Absolutely. And I heard or read probably one time that 99% of what we fear never comes to pass. Sure. So... It's the fear it's, of the unknown that holds people back. That's what it is. That's yes. exactly it, Kathleen. So it people is. don't don't know what to expect, and so they fear taking that next step. That's true. You know, some people do that with their health, too. They won't go to the doctor because they don't <laughs> want to know what right. the doctor has to say. Right. I mean, and it literally could be something as simple as 
oh, you're fine, it's due to age, or you just need this antibiotic. But and, it could and be and something and serious, on. and you it need to be at the doctor. That's, so should go. That's so true. Yes. The earlier you catch something, especially when we're talking yes. about the big C word, when we're talking about cancer, right. the earlier you go, the better. That's why yes. it's so imperative that you have regular checkups. Yeah. And when something yes. doesn't feel right, nobody knows your body like you do. Absolutely. And when something doesn't feel right, Go and get it checked out. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're going to be the one to. Yeah. And and you know the, the way our brains work too. We we can imagine so much more than what is actually there. Right. So so to not address that yeah. in a medical or health situation is far worse than just addressing it right up front because in our minds we're imagining oh it's something horrible mm -hmm. and in reality it might be something really minor that can be addressed and dealt with and mm -hmm. you're you're feeling yeah. great in no time. A bad headache. I used yeah. to always be like, oh my God, brain tumor, brain tumor. <laughs> we I did finally go, and I had migraines for a little while. Mm -hmm. They finally went away. We can create um, panic, which are panic attacks, which can mimic a heart attack. Mm -hmm. So our minds do run with us. So probably you're right. Maybe yeah. it's not that big of a deal. That's true. Mm -hmm. And too many, too many times we Google, oh, I have this ache or this pain. I'm going to Google and see what this might be. Yeah. It's probably one of the worst things to do. Go see a professional. I think it's important to remember, too, when you are fearful of doing something different, like Kathleen was talking about, stop and kind of look at what's the worst that could happen. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, think about like in our business, we're real estate agents, and anyone in sales, the whole cold call thing, you're so yeah. scared. Yeah. Like people give you a list of cold calling Fear and you don't want to dial it. <laughs> what's the worst? They're going to say no. They're going to hang up. They're going to buy it. What if somebody mm -hmm. says, I do need a new vacuum cleaner today? That's right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So That's right. just do it. Well, for me, um, I really feared, um, I've always been afraid of failure. I'm just going to go out there uh, afraid of failure. And so when I quit education and went to real estate, I felt like I did have real fear because that determines whether or not I eat. Mm -hmm. um, and wonder mm -hmm. if I take this leap of faith and it doesn't work out. Right. And I've never taken a leap of faith like that. Um, but I did overcome that fear. What made me do that? I just had faith and faith and fear go hand in hand mm -hmm. and you just do it. And I'm so glad that I did. Right. Now it was rough. Yeah. It was very mm -hmm. rough. But when I see where I am now, it's like, holy cow, I'm so glad that I did that. You followed that instinct, your gut to go do it. Yeah. I saw a quote a long time ago, years ago, and I sent it to a family member and I can't remember what it was exactly, but basically it was where you reached the point that you're more scared to stay put than to move forward. Like, mm -hmm. like I'm more scared of not doing this at this point in my life. I love that. You know, that's right? interesting. I like yeah, that. That's very, what a that's great a, way to look awesome. at it. Like you're, yeah. People that get fearful, we talked about our whole depression show, mm -hmm. but think about your fear of moving forward, of getting a job, of doing something, of changing your career. And one day you realize, I'm more scared of not doing it. Because then what happens? That's interesting. Yes. Yeah. In, in my, in my career as a real estate agent and my affiliation with BNI, I've come across several people who, who I've met through BNI. And so what is BNI? Business Network International. Okay. It's a really phenomenal referral organization. And I've met several women actually in there who picked up where they were, moved to Murfreesboro, Tennessee, didn't know a soul, didn't have a job. Yeah. I mean, talk about overcoming fear. I have a lot of respect and admiration for anybody who, who could do that. I don't think I could do that. Yeah, actually, just, I just did go. That. Did yeah. you do that too? I, know, I, I did that to too. Murfreesboro. Oh my gosh! And talking about fear during the recession, I was a real estate agent before the recession and lost everything, like probably a lot of our viewers a did. Few us, yeah. <clears throat> um, so that was a big. It was a big leap of faith to get back into real estate because I already tried and failed in real estate. Mm. Um, and so I, I tell new agents getting in every year. I look at this time of year. I look at what I accomplished during the year and could I. Could I do the same things or more staying in real estate or should I go back to um, working in the title companies, which mm -hmm. is where I was before this. So every year I, I review my year and everyone should do that as well. Sure. Yeah. Look at my finances because, you know, going broke is a big fear of mine. Well, like she said, I mean, <laughs> I mine too. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about basics. <coughs> yes. I think you need yeah. to survive, yeah. not yeah. just yeah. going shopping. Yeah. 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 I think this yeah. is real important when you say, okay, I'm going to get past my fear and I am going to move forward and I am going to do this and it's something new or going back into real estate yeah. or some whole job change. Be, okay, be brave, but also be smart mm -hmm. and don't be someone who goes into it blind or goes into it thinking you know everything mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I stepped into real estate just as a necessity to change my career where I had a flexible schedule just because of life changes in my life. But I knew 
I had to spot someone who could teach me how to do it. I wasn't going to just walk in and be like, okay, it's real estate, show houses, da, 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 da. I hooked myself up with someone who I spotted that knew what they were doing. Shout out to Dan Elam. Shout out, Dan Shout Elam. Out Dan and Elam. Joe Hafner. Yeah. Yes. They know what they're doing. Right. Yeah. So be smart enough to say, okay, I'm going to whitewater raft today, but don't get in the water without a pro. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Kind of that's right. That's right. Yeah. Have someone in there to guide you and teach you. Exactly. So, so there's that Great little. Point. But if you're going to be better, be benchmark. So, <laughs> if you're going to be better, be benchmark. Benchmark real deep. Again, we're real estate agents. Yes. 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 What I also think is interesting is I want to encourage people don't hide behind your fear. Also, don't uh, hide behind it and use it as a crutch. And mm -hmm. I know um, Kathleen and I were talking just briefly earlier that if if any of you all watch the Today Show, that Sandra Bullock. Yeah was on the Today Show and, and she was talking about, she's had a whole new show. It's a movie called a Bird movie. Box coming out. Bird, What's it again? Bird Box? Bird, Bird, Bird Box. Box. It's a brand oh, new I movie. saw the previews walking in to see uh, mm -hmm. A Star is Born. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And she, um, she's cut all of her hair off and it's kind of, you know, short and sassy. And that's uh, one of the things she had said is that she felt like she was hiding behind mm -hmm. her long, luscious locks. Mm -hmm. And um, she wanted to face herself in the mirror without all that beautiful hair. Yes, yeah. she's still beautiful. She's but so the movie is yes. about fear. She says it's a metaphor for fear because um, in the movie, what they see become what they see. That's the the horror of the movie is their greatest fear. Yes. So interesting. So we'll have to watch the movie. We, might see. we all need to go yeah. see. Which yeah. you know, I had just had my long luscious locks taken out, my hair extension. <laughs> so maybe I was hiding behind those too. <laughs> Your hair is beautiful. No, Kelsey, I'm getting them put back in. Just going for a little break. But. You know what's kind of interesting to talk about fear? <laughs> Is you just said that about your coffee mug that um, badass when you were younger, and I feel like the older I get, the tougher and braver I get. But then again, when we get even older than where we are now, we become so fearful of oh, don't climb that tree, oh, be careful, oh, it's raining, that sort of thing. So, I yeah. our fears are just this thing that constantly runs through your life, and you go through different stages of it. Yeah, and interestingly, children typically have no fear. Mm. Right. We're going to climb to the top of that jungle yeah. gym. And meanwhile, mom's saying, get down, get down. You're going to fall. You might right. fall. Because like you said, as you mature, you understand consequences. And, and it's healthy. I mean, certain fears are very healthy. Right. Because you yeah. know what? When you feel fear, mm -hmm. that means you're, you're thinking about doing something exciting. Yeah. Something different. You're thinking. You're feeling. You're yeah. thriving. I mean, you don't wake up fearful just because you got to walk to the kitchen and make your coffee. You're True. fearful because you got a big interview. That's a job change. You're fearful because you're going skydiving. Right. You're fearful, fearful because you're going on a new date, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. What, so, what, what about the idea of being fearful of success? Do you think people? Um, do you think it's possible that people jeopardize themselves or or um, yeah. set themselves up for failure because they they internally don't think they can handle the success that they're reaching for? One hundred percent. Sure, we talked about that in self talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, people sabotage themselves yeah. more than anyone else sabotages anybody. Yeah. That's why I think it's important to um, know your fear, name your fear, yes. and map out a plan. And we've talked about this with goal setting of what's holding me back and how can I overcome that? And really being real with yourself. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to encourage everybody, don't let fear hold you back of what other people are going to think about you. And I think that's imperative. But I think it's mapping yeah. out a plan yeah. and truly being honest with yourself. Is it the fear of success that's holding me back? And why do I fear True. success? True. And why do you fear it? I don't know. That's I think the social, there's a there's a huge mm -hmm. social aspect of what you said about what other people are going to think about you, um, and with age comes humbleness and and humility. Maybe we don't worry so much and about the finger. What? About <laughs> <laughs> and the, sorry, but I mean, at some point in your life, you know, I posted this thing on Facebook yesterday that everyone was loving. It said, "Dear haters, I got so much more for you to be mad about. Be patient." <laughs> You know, at some point in your life, you just get where you're like, I'm doing yeah, this. That, that, is, that is part of the beauty of getting some maturity, uh -huh. getting some age on yourself. Yeah, you some do, confidence. You do reach a point where you're like, I don't care anymore. I really, it, what you think is not my business. Bottom yeah. line. Right. Not my business. So what you just yeah. say about the finger? <laughs> get oh, I'm just finger. saying at some point, you, you talk about being so worried about what other people think, and at some point, you're going to just kind of walk by and be like, well, whatever. But not finger, but I was talking about the finger. Okay, <laughs> okay. Well, she make this finger. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Finger. But but you what know am I missing here, ball sack? Do you know what? Yeah, it's, my daughter. Yeah, the other day, I mean, somebody pulled in front. She goes, "Mom, oh my gosh, that lady just gave you the finger." I said, "You know what? That made me number one." So you know, yeah, that made me number one. Hey, that's, that's what, what we said. Like. The first time we got a 
our thumbs down on our, uh, YouTube. We were like, we've made it. Thank that's you. right. That's right. Bring it on. I like Can't that. Can't make everybody happy. Yeah. Yeah. But at least they were watching enough to give us the thumbs down. Right. All They're right. probably still watching us. Okay. That's fear. That's just kind of our discussion about it. You know what? Just, you know, we're going to have a show about you only live once. So, yes. the fear and Aww, be done with that. What flamingo. you got? Okay. I'm even going to, I think the flamingo needs to stay with us even after, after Christmas. Sorry, Angela. Okay. So, this is the deal. So, I yeah. saw these jeans, okay, and they looked so great. And they were like, I mean, anywhere from $175 to $250. What? And I oh, saw boy. them and I was like, okay, those are so cute. But I'm on the shopping wagon right now because of Christmas. Um, I've had to, you know, really reel it in. And so I'm, I'm on a, Miss Rebecca's on a mega budget. So I saw these cute jeans and I thought, I can do that. So what did I do? I oh, took you made your own. some you jeans. Your own? Yes. No wonder we're moving the props. They look oh. the exact same as what they were in the store. <laughs> you can just take a pair of your jeans and I cut three inches here, three inches here, three inches here. Oh, and made goodness. them all sassy. How is this a help tip? <laughs> It's about your social, emotional, yeah. physical <laughs> self, and financial health. Yeah. True. Yes. That's a great but idea. I got the same look, and I, yeah, there were jeans I already had, and I saved $200. And the boots were only the seven hundred. No, I had these. <laughs> yeah, these are last season. Yeah. But anyway, I just thought it was fun, and then it's awesome. Okay, so that's awesome. awesome. Okay. okay. All right. Now you it's know how look. to look cool and <laughs> <laughs> look cool and take money. Those look great. I would have never known yeah. you did that. I yeah. Thought, see, that's Sharon. Awesome. 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 Okay. Yeah. Sheila, you got a good quote for us today? I do. Let me get it pulled up here real quickly. Um, that's cool. Thank you. Yeah, like yeah, we have to keep the flamingo. The flamingo, mm -hmm. flamingo is awesome. Okay, so my quote kind of ties into our fear topic. And this is by Roy T. Bennett. It's only after you've stepped outside your comfort zone that you begin to change, grow, and transform. Mm -hmm. And it takes courage to step outside that comfort zone mm -hmm. and know that no, what, no matter whatever you're stepping outside for, you will likely feel fear unless you're just an anomaly. You're going to likely feel fear. Mm -hmm. Bust through the fear, go for what you're look what you're after, and um, then you can look back and say you didn't let fear hold you back. That's right. No regrets. And that's about going home saying I didn't just do good, I did great. Yes. I stepped out yes. because you get to go home Absolutely. and maybe you did something different. And we've yes. said this before, we're totally out of our comfort zones. And how mm -hmm. often after starting the show do we talk about how we've grown? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How is true. this is what what this is doing for us? Yes. Or to I us. was fearful to start the show. I was like, can we really do this? Yeah. Is this Sheila, what's our question going to be so we have a winner for the t-shirt? Our question for the day is, what did Rebecca do to save money this week? Oh, so what we want okay. you to do is respond on our Facebook page, respond your answer, and from all the answers, we'll choose one winner. Oh, we'll officially ask that question. Absolutely. We can do anything wonderful. we want to do. We can do anything we want. It's a yeah. wonderful life. Right. Yeah. It's a wonderful life. Thank Don't you. be yeah. good to break. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Cheers, ladies. Have a great day. Until next week.